Repealing the state-mandated emergency manager law. Many in Flint blame it for the city's water crisis. The law, known as the Local Financial Stability and Choice Act 436 of 2012, could be wiped away by proposed legislation introduced in the state house on February 1st. Thanks for joining us for TV5 News at 5. I'm Meg McLeod. And I'm David Custer. Today, city leaders plan on taking a symbolic step to show the city's support for the bill. TV5's James Felton joins us in the studio with the latest James David Meg tonight the Flint City Council is expected to vote on a resolution that fully supports House Bill 4065 and the repeal of Public Act 436 and urges the Michigan legislature to enact House Bill 465 and 4065 and repeal the local financial stability and choice act 436 of 2012. The emergency manager law was enacted to provide for appointment of emergency managers to local municipalities and school districts experiencing financial distress. It essentially gave the state appointed emergency manager control over a city government. Flint city leaders say the broad powers given to the emergency manager, not subject to local review or control, had devastating financial consequences for many municipalities, including the city of Flint. Flint resident and state representative Cynthia Neely tells us she will do everything in her power to get the emergency manager law repealed. We had a water crisis and a lot of that had to do with our emergency manager taking over and taking resources away from us. Where we stand here today in unity to let you know today is today that we're saying no, no more to this act. We need to change it. I am on board with it and I will stand hard and fast and loud in Lansing to let them know that this bill needs to end today. Right now, the bill is in the Committee on Local Government and Municipal Finance. To become law, it needs to be approved by the State House and Senate, then be signed by Governor Gretchen Whitmer. David and Meg, back to you.